American Ballet Theater principal dancer Isabella Boylston as Princess Aurora in The Sleeping Beauty, just one of the important roles she is featured in during the current ABT season at the Met at Lincoln Center, and she joins us now to discuss. Welcome, Isabella. Yeah. We're so happy to have you here. Thanks for coming Thank mid-season. I know how busy it is for of you. Course. yeah. Now, in addition to dancing Aurora in Sleeping Beauty, you're also in Romeo and Juliet. You're also Swan Lake, featured in Swan Lake. Do you have a favorite role this season? Oh, um... It's really hard to just pick one, but um, last week I debuted in La Fille Malgarde, and I, yeah, I would say that was definitely, um, it's just a beautiful love story. Um, I, so I think that's that so was far favorite. favorite. One of my There's favorites. a lot of acting yeah. in that one too. Do you enjoy acting in your dancing? Yeah, I yeah. really do actually. Um, it's interesting because it's not really something that you're trained for as a ballet student. So I guess yeah, my first experience with acting was um, when I started getting some principal roles at ABT. And so I actually um, felt like I needed to sort of get my acting skills <laughs> up to the level where my dancing skills are at. So I actually have worked with an acting coach a little bit to oh, try to groom fun. my acting abilities or just learn some um, techniques. And you are currently the youngest principal ballerina at ABT. How old are you now? I'm 29. Wow. Yeah. And when did you become a principal? Uh, I was promoted two years ago. Two years so, ago. Yeah. So how did you rise up the ranks so quickly? What was your secret? Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, I think in a lot of companies, 29 is actually not like that young for a principal dancer, but I think um, the fact that I am the youngest in, illustrates how difficult it is to move up at ABT. Absolutely. And um, I think that's just because everyone's so amazing and um, opportunities are limited. And so, yeah, I just feel, I still like can't believe it. I still feel <laughs> two years so later, you're like, wow, here I am. Yeah. And where did you come from? How did you first get involved in ballet and what drew you to New York? So I'm originally from Sun Valley, Idaho, and uh, no one in my family does ballet. Um, my dad is a drummer, so I think the musicality, the musicality of it really mm -hmm. resonated with me. And um, I grew up skiing and doing a bunch of outdoor activities, and then um, my mom just signed me up for some ballet classes, and I ended up really loving it, and then I think also just luck. I had great teachers and um, one thing led to another and then was it hard leaving your family and coming to New York at such a young age and doing it on your own yeah well I actually so I actually went to a boarding school for ballet for high school okay. because I was commuting one hour each way on a public bus to get good ballet classes okay. and um, so that became unsustainable or and um, so yeah I went to boarding school and honestly it, it was a little scary at first, but I immediately just felt like I found my niche and I you were home. made amazing friends. Yes. Yeah, Dancers I loved it. It's yeah. like your family, right? Yeah, um, it really is. So what is your life like now? Walk us through a typical day in your life during the season. Um, well, I wake up usually around uh, nine. Um, which is very civilized yes, for most people. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to perform every yeah, night the exactly. night before. You go to so, bed late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so uh, drink coffee, eat a good breakfast. I love eating eggs in the morning for some protein. And then uh, I do ballet class, which a lot of people ask me, why do you still have to take ballet class? And ballet class is basically your morning warm up, and um, which you know because yeah. you were a ballerina. Yes, <laughs> gets um, you prepared for your gets day you of rehearsal. Prepared for your day, yeah. And it's also yeah. kind of like I think of it almost as a meditation. It just gets you your um, body and mind in tune and focused. Right, you become centered. And yeah. then you have a day of, and then your day is mostly rehearsal. And then yeah, I'll, I'll rehearse. Um, depending. Do you stop to eat lunch or? Yeah, I kind of eat. Um, I guess whenever I can throughout the day, like sometimes I'll eat four meals a day. You're grazing. All the, yeah, yeah, dancers yeah. graze during grazing the day. All day yeah, yeah. yeah, but I definitely try to eat three solid meals regardless. Mm -hmm. And um, it depends what I'm doing. Like if I had Swan Lake that night, I would not rehearse much because I want to save my body and it's so hard. Um, so I'll take a nap and eat pasta before the show. Get that carb Yeah, get going. the carbs <laughs> and um, 
put on makeup, listen to music. I always listen to music. Do you I'm have specific pre-show rituals that you do? Are you superstitious about it at uh, all? A little bit? A little. I'm not too superstitious, but I guess there are certain things that I always do, mm -hmm. like the pasta. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, listening to music, it just helps put me in a good yes. headspace. I've been listening to Lemonade a lot. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, once yeah. you're done with your performance, you go home and relax. And once you're done with the season, do you have time for a personal life? Or is your life all dancing? I would say it goes in waves. Yeah. Right now, um, it's definitely the hardest time of the year. Also, like, the mm -hmm. most fun right. for me. Um, haven't really seen my husband that much <laughs> Well, it's lately. nice to know at least you're married, so you do have a personal yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do try to have balance. Yeah, that's so good. Thank yeah. you so much for Thank that. Thank you.